What is going on everybody? I am DadBod. Tonight, this isn't as much of an Ahorn tutorial as much as it is just like a, hey, you better be aware that this tool exists and you better download it right now if you're going to make maps because this is going to make things a hell of a lot easier for you. This is the Ahorn Move Room tool by Vasher. So we got to take a look. Get in, loser. We're going to the internet. All right, so let's take this map that I'm working on. You know, I have different ideas for different things, and this is gonna be a bigger map. And what I ended up doing is kind of separating it, as we can see, into different areas. And each part is kind of like a different checkpoint because it uses different mechanics, and I wanna introduce them in different times. And the way you would have had to do it, so let's say, for example, this big boy right here, if I wanted this room, uh, right over here to the right of this room, I would have to do either one of two things. I could go into room, configure, and then once this uh, thing pops up, I could get the exact coordinates for where I want it and then adjust it. So right now it sits at X value 1632, Y value negative 50. Now I could look at the X and Y value of this and kind of get it, or I could hold the Alt key after I select the room and arrows and slowly but surely make my way through there, which is kind of a pain in the butt. And then if, if let's say I go, you know what, I think that this room here actually would belong uh, and it would fit way better if it was right in between these two rooms, moving all of those is an enormous undertaking and I, I was just you know for all of this this was like a future dad problem not a present day dad problem but i'm getting closer and closer to the day where it does become that dad's problem so this move tool is really really cool essentially once you install this plugin you have move once you select the room you can just like that, click, move, line it up, and it is done. I cannot believe how easy it is to have that tool right there. I don't believe that multiple rooms can be selected. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it. That may be something for the future to be able to move, like a group of rooms, like if I need to move one room you know, this last room into a spot, the ability to, to select multiple rooms and push them all at the same time. But even without doing that, it's still fine, honestly. The other thing that just got updated today that I thought was really neat was the ability to resize rooms. So I have like a little transition room and let's say I make it too big, too small, or I wanna make it bigger. The resize room, once you select, allows you to quickly and easily adjust the size of the room before you had to go in and manually adjust. And it was just a huge pain in the butt, like especially if you just wanted to like quickly go in, you just have to open the room again, reconfigure it. And even if you just needed to move it by a couple tiles, you still had to go into the room configuration and do that every single time. But with this tool, you can just simply click it drag it, boom, room is bigger, room is smaller, uh, whatever. I love the fact that you can do that. Obviously, it stops us at the uh, default size, which uh, makes a lot of sense. 40 by 23 is like the minimum room size that you have to have, so I like that it auto stops you there. That's pretty darn neat. I can't believe that, uh, that I've waited. I haven't even waited. That I've gone this long without. The one thing I will say as a bit of criticism, just because I use Ahorn a ton, I'm used to having placement and selections as my last two options, and now that these are my last two options, I found myself selecting those all the time. I'd almost have those like, if I can, uh, if I could customize it, that would be convenient. That would be probably the best because personally I'd probably have it under brushes because I know brushes is on the very top. I know selection is on the very bottom. Placement is next to that. 
and then I use I really don't use bucket circle ellipses lines sometimes but it's mainly rectangles object tiles placement selection and brushes so if I could have that uh, movable that would be even better but this tool is incredibly useful if you do not have this yet the link is obviously in the description you got to go get it like right now this will make your mapping experience way way easier and that is all we have for tonight guys i hope you enjoyed hit me up down in the comment section below and until next time have a great night